Is that, is the emotion, what do you see from here? Right, I mean, in this position, you can definitely be a little bit more clinical about things. Uh, you're not, if, when you're in the match, you're dealing with, oh, you know, I kicked an elbow in that match three matches ago and my ankle swollen to the size of a balloon. <laughs> in this situation, you can sit here and very clinical, okay, he needs to do X, Y, and Z to win. And sometimes it's a different tale in the match because the look and the feel that the player you're going against can be very different than what it looks like on camera. And so it's uh, it's definitely a different adjustment being under the lights versus being out here staring and getting to watch high quality Taekwondo. The wise words of Stephen Landon. Well, who will be the smartest in this one? A smart pair in Kim Sohee and Wu Jing Yu. The all Asian clash, Korea against China. Ladies and gentlemen, it is finals time. The first final for today is in the women under 49 kilograms division. In blue, representing Korea, Kim So-hee. Well, here she comes, Kim So-hee. Well, she feel like a champion at the end of this one. The two-time world champion, the Rio Olympic Games gold medalist. She's got the footwork, she's got the style. We watched her against Bogdanovic. How do you rate her chances against, well, let's say, Wu Jing Yu, Mark II? This is a tough one, because like I said, Wu is a living legend, but Korea's been on fire this whole day. Uh, if I were going to lean one way, I'm going to go with Korea, I think. In the upset. Representing China, Wu Jing Yu. Well, the three-time world champion. Double Olympic champion. And recently a mother to baby Gloria. I'm sure she's watching at home. And she'll have watched that there. Four big wins back to back, and at 32 years old, that shows you just how much she wants it, Steven. Yeah, she really gives no sign of slowing down either. That's what's impressive. That's a testimony to good strength and conditioning, good nutrition, good athlete management. It's it's an impressive all, it's an impressive feat all around. Impressive feat and an experienced referee, Emily Morris, in charge of proceedings from the USA in this one. The All Asian Clash, Korea against China, the penultimate final here on the last day in the Sofia Grand Prix. And who's going to stand at the top of the podium in this one? Kim so -hee. She's the athlete in blue. Stands at 1 meter 65. Wu Jing Yu, just three centimeters taller. And they know each other very well indeed. The quality from both. And it's all about the start in this one. Both coaches ready. Three times two minute rounds, of course. Could have a golden score. But who will have the golden medal? Good start from you. Yeah, that's a very sharp start. I think she took advantage of, uh, oh, yeah, taking advantage of maybe a little bit laxed coverage there. Well, Korea and China have shared a couple of finals so far, most notably Yi Hoon against Zhao Shuai, and it was the composure and the accuracy of Zhao Shuai, the Olympic champion, that saw him over the line. And that's how it's been so far for Wu. Yeah, absolutely. She's a tank with that front leg. It's just super strong, extremely quick. Oh. And Kim puts two on the board with a nice, again, out of that same middle distance we saw from the semifinal that she won. And speaking of quick, covers that distance rapidly. Yeah. I can't fall out of bed that fast, let alone kick. <laughs> well, a true heavyweight just built for comfort, not for speed. But Kim so he finds a crumb of comfort here. As she brings it back to two points of a gap, Wu Jing Yu battling forward. And of course, halfway through this round, a little punch up to the eye, perhaps. Yeah, maybe a little high. Too high and into the eye for Kim So Hee. But eyes in the prize from Wu Jing Yu. She has the lead halfway through the first. It's so interesting, we spoke before about the Korean footwork and timing. Wu Jing Yu, it's not a Korean style, but she's got her own little way of controlling that dynamic. Yeah, it's uh, a lot of truly great athletes like Wu have that really uh, certain bravado of such an interesting way of moving. Oh, very impressive. Unfortunately, the system didn't like it. <laughs> you can't beat the system, Steven. Uh, apparently not. Yeah, the staccato rhythm. 
of Wu Jingyu. She's got her own style and it's worked so well so far. Kim Soo-hee trying to work in that short distance as we go the distance in this first round. Well, precious little for Amelie Maras, the USA referee, to do in this one. It's been a cleanly fought contest, but it's the clean scores on the board for the athlete in red. A couple of great push kicks and Kim Soo-hee says, yep. That'll do for me at the moment. Back to the rounds they go. And of course, we've given plenty in terms of what Wu Jing Yu can do and what has she done. But Kim So Hee, Olympic champion, world champion on multiple occasions. She's got a glittering career as well and shows sign in this one that could cause a little bit of the upset as you, as you spoke about. Yeah, absolutely. I think the adjustment that needs to be made right now is Wu has got her reaching. Every time, every time Kim goes to attack, she's just got that great distance made. It's barely making her miss. And if I'm Team Korea, I'm saying let's go for a little bit of close the distance first and then follow in with that kick. Just that little extra spacing, I think, would make a huge difference for Korea right now. Well, the spacing will affect the placing. Who's going to be on top of the podium? Wu Jing Yu even has time to look at the scoreboard when she kicks. Uh, that's how you know you're fast. <laughs> Well, who can make fast progress as we quickly move towards the business end of this first final? 4-2 on the board. And it is indeed round two. The customary show of respect gives way to the flurry of feet and fists. Wu Jing Yu, calm and composed, and can pop into action at any moment. Such a dominant cut. I think if Wu sticks with that, the little bit of... Oh, I thought that one was going to go up. Creating just that little bit of distance, getting Korea to reach. I think this is a very manageable match. Might have to eat my words. I think I might have guessed wrong. It can happen, but anything can happen indeed. Far from insurmountable for Kim So Hee. No gam jumps given. Cleanly fought. 4 2 on the board. Wu Jing Yu, the taller of the two, holding the center. The bigger reputation, the bigger expectation on her shoulders as well. Kim So Hee just nodding to her coach as if to say, yep. Don't worry about that front leg as the call from the green coach. Have confidence. Maybe not quite turned over enough on that kick on Dato, especially you want to get as much of your foot on the target as possible. And when you say turned over, are you talking hip? Are you talking knee? Are you? The cue we always use is whenever you're turning your kick over to try and hit with your pinky toes. Okay. Make sure your foot is completely turned over if you want to have a shot at scoring on this system. Well, good technical advice. Can she take it, Kim Sohee? Good fake. Wedging you sees it coming. And the pinky toes are the margins so far. The accuracy from the Chinese fighter in red. No lights for that punch. That was yeah. kind of surprising. Yeah, I would go with that. I thought there was plenty of pop on it. Might be starting to see a little bit of fatigue set in. It's been a very long day. Still sharp, though. Yeah, as you say, the fifth fight for these female flyweights. Lovely sidestep oh. from Wu Yu. Wonderful. I, I mean, that's the kind of exchange you have to have. If Kim wants to catch up, though, she's got to follow more than one. It can't just be the one score. Well, two points of a difference. 20 to go in this second round. Headshot not far away there from Wu Yu. Kim so he perhaps will just, as you say, Turn off the afterburners, get back to the coach. A little furtive attempt, a little bit of a fake kick there, just trying to run the clock down, both fighters. Right on the buzzer with the punch, but not too much power. Can Wu Jing Yu power towards another title here? I know it's all to fight for, but in terms of the quality, it's just perfect stuff to watch. Today. Yeah, this is the kind of match you want to see. It's uh, like we talked about, that margin of error is so razor thin at the beginning. Being the veteran, well, it's funny, we're comparing essentially golden apples here. I say veteran. Uh, slightly slightly uh, more experienced veteran against another world champion, but uh, I think she took advantage of a little bit laxed, uh, maybe a little bit uh, tired from the day at the start. Uh, Kim was just a little bit, a little bit loose on her guard. I, those two scores right there at the beginning might come back to haunt us. It's going to be a big two minutes. No question about it, as you say, both golden apples, but who will pip who to the title? We're at the core moment of execution now. And who can find a way through in this one? Ripe for the picking. Two points of a difference. Wu Jing Yu 
has the advantage and not content to sit on it, Stephen, coming forward away already. I think you I think you have to. You cannot let Kim get settled or get comfortable. Oh, beautiful front leg around the front of the chest guard using the heel. That's the that's the kind of big play that wins matches. Super sharp cut. I love it. There's a rule in TV commentary you're not supposed to sit and applaud, but that's that's basically what I'm doing just now. It is quality and very, very much worthy of that applause. Well, she claps one home to the body protector. A little bit of tape came loose there for Kim So Heat. Has her game plan came loose as well. The quality, the accuracy, and Wu Jing Yu. Well, she's in her wheelhouse now. Yeah, this is uh, beautiful. She knows she has to come. Oh, man, now she's just racking up the points. This is why she's a legend. She takes advantage of the opportunity. Oh, let's see. I thought I thought maybe we were going to score a punch there, but now all she has to do is take those kicks straight down the middle and coast for the last minute and 15, and she will be a, yet again Grand Prix champion, taking the easy points with that cut. Yeah, taking the easy points and making the difficult look easy. Wu Jing Yu showing the quality, going through the gears. And is she back at her very best? Panapak Wompatanaket. Well, I guess she's back in Bangkok somewhere, watching on. Sawadi cap to her. But it's been a golden capped performance from Wu Jing Yu. She's been absolutely tremendous. Back to her very best, Stephen. Yeah, and you can tell she's start again. It's that bravado of the such shoulders a are down. Yeah, yeah, she's having a good time at this point because she knows she's got Korea very flustered. Flustered and frustrated, Kim So Hee will have to settle for silver for this one, and it's all the skills now. I think she's figured out that that front leg around that front leg around the front of the chest guard using the heel. Uh, either Kim is too tired to be covering it, or it just isn't seeing it. But that that is the icing on the cake for this match. It has been a tasty treat for us all to enjoy. But Wu Jing Yu is marching in a relative procession now towards yet another gold medal. Nice shot from Kim So Hee. She fought to the finish. But finishing with a flourish, Wu Jingyu is back, and she means business. Gold medal for China. The best ambassador for generations is here. Doesn't get much better than that, Stephen. No, that's that is the definition of a dominant performance. And again, it's like we said, both players wildly successful. I mean, basically Hall of Famers in their own right. It's like. Man, that's you could fight that match ten times, it might get ten completely different results sure. every time. Sure. But the results are in the books. Well done to Kim Sohee with the silver medal. But her congratulations as she will take the three thousand dollars plus the ranking points. She's already on the flight to Tokyo for the Olympic Games next year. But looks as if she's gonna be joined by this young woman here, and I emphasize young. A couple of Olympic champions giving her high fives as well. Three Olympic champions sitting next to each other. That's quite a strong squad. Yeah, I think I'm uh, going to go sit over there and see if some of their success rubs off. The golden magic stardust. But a success. She does everything so well. Yeah, it, it really is a pleasure to watch because it's like those first two and a half two and a half rounds, we didn't see that front leg around hitting with the heel, and it's like she busted it out and picked up, what, six points off of it? It's That's the kind of adjustment that, yeah, again, uh, we can say it as many times as we want, but she's a legend. Legend deservedly so, Kim, so he will live to fight another day. She'll go back with a well-earned silver medal. She fought to the finish. But finishing in style was Wu Jing Yu. And obviously we're talking about her athletic credentials. I don't know if you've spent a lot of time in her company. She's just a lovely person. Oh yeah, she's as sweet as can be. Uh, I mean, we don't even speak the same language and she always takes the initiative to say hi, she smiles, we shake hands. Uh, she's just one of those people uh,